Welcome back. We are here on eTour looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And as you can see, we... Uh... Welcome back. We are here on eTour looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis of all the commodities that are traded on each row, and the live signals, and also our trading uh, online trading. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index, and as you can see, we rallied quite significantly early in the European session, and then broke down again when we were when at the end of the European session. So there was a this had a major effect on most currency pairs and also commodities, for example, oil. And uh, of course, the currency pairs, the British, the pound, US dollar almost fell apart uh, when this started to appreciate. So that is basically a dire warning to most of those currency pairs and also commodities. If this starts rallying up towards the 20 exponential, which is very likely that that is going to occur, then we are going to see most of these commodities tumble within the next few trading days. So we have rallied, broken down again, but we are above the previous highs here. So at this stage, these technical indicators are, for example, RSI is oversold. CCI is, in, is uh, turning around quite aggressively. We're still underneath the uh, minus 100 in the CCI, so that is still considered um, bearish at this point. Stochastic has turned around, and so is almost a MACD. It's becoming flat, but if these two indicators move, uh, if the CCI moves above zero and the stochastic moves above uh, 30, then this will turn around quite quickly, and that means that we will go heading towards the 20 exponential moving average, and that is a roughly 91.77 at this stage. So let's look at oil. As you can see, we uh, broke down quite significantly uh, earlier in the European session, all the way down to 45.52, and then rallied again. But now we've broken down yet again. Uh, if we look at the technical indicators for oil, they are starting to look very bearish at this stage. Stochastic is flat, CCI is becoming negative, uh, the same goes for an RSI is also becoming flat or basically pointing downwards and we need the MACD to basically cross the signal line and then we'll go much lower from here. So the question is how low we'll go and uh, I would guess around here. So 44, that is probably as low as this market will go. That is the lows here and it's just above the 40 exponent, 20 exponential moving average, and I don't believe that we'll go lower than that. Um, so when that occurs, we'll most likely rally towards 50 or 70, uh, 47.5 and then 50, and then we'll most likely see a major turnaround in oil. We'll most likely trade between 50 and the very lows here at the uh, 36, 35, in that range for the foreseeable future. I don't see us going back to 60 as we were where we were trading before the coronavirus hit. There just isn't that demand in the market. It isn't demand for this uh, at this point. This is mainly due to speculation and, uh, and good news in the market. So pull back towards the 20 uh, exponential or these lows at 44, and that is a buying opportunity for this commodity. So let's look at natural gas. And there is basically no end in sight for natural gas. We have created our, uh, even lower today, we went down to 2.39. And at this point, it is just a matter of time before we break these lows and that will head us all the way down to 2.25. Just above the 50 moving, the 200 moving average. Uh, we are almost oversold at this point. So we can see what happens when we rally, we break down again and break down even more. So at this point, I think we'll go all the way down here before we turn around towards the 20 exponential moving average. 
the 200 moving average should offer a lot of support. So uh, keep that in mind. We are almost oversold as well. Technical indicators here are still looking very bearish. So we'll see what happens. I have no interest basically into this market, either with a sell or a buy. I need to see this market uh, clearly find support down here in order to bind this. If we break the 200 moving average, then that opens the floodgates to much lower levels, at least 2.0. So let's look at gold. So as you can see, we have rallied yet again up towards the 50 moving average and then gave most of those, some of those gains back. Um, at this point, we'll probably go heading towards the 50 moving average and it will be interesting to see whether or not we manage to break that. We have a, a major resistance line here, which we also have to break through. Even though we break through the 50 moving average, we also need to break this resistance line in order to go and test these previous highs here at 1964 before heading to 2000 and then 2100. So there's a lot of resistance above um, in gold. And if the US dollar starts appreciating, we should see this tumble back towards the 20, uh, 200 moving average. So it is to be seen. Um, if we break down from here, then of course we have this support line. And if I were to, to estimate, make my estimation, I think that we are going to trade within this barrier, um, these two uh, resistant support line for the foreseeable future. It won't be until we get towards this corner here that will have a break to the upside or the downside. I prefer the upside because I think at the gold is bullish in the long run. I don't think that we are going to break through all of this resistant area here before we have a turnaround to the very to the lows again. I don't think that is going to happen. So we'll see. Um, it is a gamble to trade this at the moment because it's not very clear where we are technically going. Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point, but we have tried this several times before. We tried it over here, 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 we tried it over here, broke down every single time. And now we're heading towards the 50. It will be interesting, interesting to see whether or not we get rejected here. If we do, we're heading towards the 200 moving average again. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you get access to our uh, signal service, full technical analysis, and also our online courses and trades. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.